The auto sales rate for April topping 18 million vehicles for the second straight month. This is uh, the first time since mid-2005 with back-to-back -back months above that level. I remember that level. Phil LeBeau joins us now. That was one that, that Mike Jackson used to talk about. It was always 17 or 18. That, that, those are the best we've done, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and what we saw in April, Joe, fourth best month since the year 2000. We've only had nine months over 18 million as a sales rate, and two have been back-to-back. -back. You had March at 18.08 .08 million, and then last month at 18.54 million. And this also included record sales from Toyota, Honda, Hyundai. The average price paid for somebody going into a dealership, 37572 roughly speaking, almost a record high within maybe $100 of that. This now sets up the year for total auto sales to come in at a pace of 17.4 million vehicles. Let's put that into some perspective of how that compares with recent years. By the way, a lot of people are now saying, we don't have the supply to make it all the way through the end of the year at 17.4. The automakers would have to continue to ramp up production given the, ship, the chip shortage. That's unlikely to happen. The dealer inventory right now, it stands at between 35 and 38 days supply. Normally, if it's a normal industry, the day supply should be between 65 and 70 days. What does that mean? That means when these cars are loaded onto carriers and driven into dealerships, most are either pre-sold, very few are going out on the lot where you can walk around and say, oh, I'm interested in that particular car, SUV. Most are already sold, and that's why, guys, when you drive around lots right now, it's slim pickings. It's very hard to just to go in and say, yeah, let, what kind of choice do I have on this particular model? Let's take a look at Ford. Ford will re be reporting its April auto sales a little bit later on this morning. You know the story at Ford. They've had really strong sales, especially for full-size pickups and SUVs. The Bronco has been red hot, but what's been the impact of the chip shortage? We might get a little more color on that today. Also take a look at General Motors. We will get G GM's Q1 results tomorrow morning. And the big focus there is going to be, obviously, the chip shortage, but also what they're saying as they transition towards electric vehicle production a little bit later on this year at Factory Zero in Detroit and then going into 2022. And you do not want to miss our first on CNBC interview with Mary Barra, General Motors chairman and CEO. We will talk with her at 835 shortly after the results come out. Lots to talk with Mary about not only the chip shortage, but also this transition into EVs. You know, guys, it was maybe six months ago people said, boy, GM is set up. You've got the transition to EVs and you're going to have red hot demand for trucks and SUVs. Things should be good. The chip shortage has thrown a bit of a wrench into that plan. They still see strong demand. But now the question is, can they meet the demand that is out there? Because supply is constrained right now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.